Hi, I'm so honored to join all of you, unfortunately virtually, but nonetheless there with you spiritually to discuss this really important initiative of the importance of arts in healing. And I uh, wish I could be there at the Met and uh, with all of you at the World Health Organization who are doing so much to innovate on really transforming care, especially for those of us like myself who are struggling with addiction. I am blessed because today I've had uh, 10 years of continuous uninterrupted sobriety. Uh, for me, that m means that I have not had to drink or drug since February 22, 2011. I've spent most of my life self-medicating, however, because as someone with the disease of addiction, I suffer from a physical allergy, a mental obsession, and a spiritual malady. That's how we in recovery uh, really identify these illnesses. And our response to these illnesses has to be commensurate. It has to deal with the medical aspects of the brain disease of addiction. But it also has to do with the mental health compulsion, which would require the right kind of cognitive behavioral therapy. But finally, and really most importantly to long-term recovery, it's the spiritual dimension. Because what marks these illnesses um, as so distinct is that they really thrive on isolation. These illnesses thrive on disconnectedness. And that is why the inspiration behind this conversation that you're having today is so important because we need to take all the tools in our toolkit to engage people who have traditionally been marginalized, involve people and connect them in ways where they have often been alienated. And, and arts are so important to that spiritual dimension because it is that um, connection to a uh, creative element, uh, your sense of awe at the sound of, of music that can bring back um, very positive, in, in, the, in the medical phraseology, a dopamine response, right? It's very physical. The arts aren't esoteric. They're chemical. Uh, and you know, these types of ways to reach into our psyche that are not necessarily through the front door of medicine, but through the side door of our unconscious, are really the uh, mystery of how do we reach and touch people in a profound way, which is what these illnesses uh, need. They need a an approach that is really personalized to the individual's um, own value system and experience. And the arts are universal, and yet they play out in any number of different ways in someone's life. And they have different arts, have different meaning for each individual, but finding the right mix of the arts to better enable us to bring that human dimension of the awe of life, the uh, natural inspiration that comes from being moved physically from the beauty of uh, a great song or a great uh, picture, painting, or a, a great um, example of some artistic um, expression, which for those of us in recovery comes in very human terms. We share with each other our own personal stories as a way of opening ourselves up uh, to intimacy, to opening ourselves up to others understanding who we are and so that we can break down that sense of isolation. I just want to say thank you all for helping us lead this charge. Uh, I know today it's early in the formative time of understanding this dimension of how the arts are such a healing force. But I can assure you, as we move forward, my instinct is that there's no question that when we go to real world evidence as to what will help people um, achieve and maintain recovery, 
that the arts are going to be an essential component to that sense of connection to a spiritual dimension that, as we know, for those of us who are in recovery, is, is absolutely essential to our living lives in sobriety. Because sobriety is much more than the absence of addiction. It's an embracing of a way of life that involves our full participation in the world around us. And what could be a more fuller uh, participation in the world around us than to participate in our um, human expression as seen through the arts? You know, President Kennedy uh, was memorialized at the National Performing Arts Center in, in Washington, D.C., the John F. Kennedy National Performing Arts Center. And uh, there is a quote on one of those uh, walls as you're going in. I think uh, John Adams or something was the um, one who, who said it about, you know, my fathers uh, studied war so that I could study politics, so that my children could study the arts. Um, it is the ultimate uh, pursuit of our uh, unique human um, spirit that is manifest through the arts that makes this effort um, so alive. In my own road to recovery, I have found that the medical approach was very significant for me to get over the brain illness of addiction. But as I achieved sobriety, um, I really recognized the value of the healing arts in, in every way towards helping me reconnect. Uh, the real um, symptom of addiction is disconnectedness. The symptom of, of mental illness is disconnectedness. is marginalization and isolation. So anything that can connect people together is, is what is really significant in helping people heal their brokenness as a result of these illnesses that marginalize them from their fellows and their community. So I thought uh, in order to illustrate how important recovery is here in my life, I thought I would um, really play a song that uh, illustrates to me how important connection is. So it's called Family Affair. Alexa, could you play Family Affair by Mary J. Blige? Here's Family Affair okay. by Mary J. Blige on Amazon Music.